Hey everybody, welcome to another yoga class here at Driven. My name is Beth. I'm so happy you're here with me today. Great job for just showing up. Today's class is going to be maybe a little bit slower than some of the other ones. I'm hearing a lot of people saying that they're stressed out, they're scared. And so a slow class might just help you reset some of that. So, oh, and we're also going to need a strap today. We're going to do a nice hip opener. So grab a strap. If you don't have a strap, a belt, a tie, or a scarf would work perfect. So just grab something quick before we get started. Really glad you're here today. We're going to start seated on our mat. So um, sit comfortably. Simple pose is fine. If you want to start stretching already through the hips, you can bring your left foot up onto your right thigh, and then we'll switch in just a little bit just to start stretching the body. But if that doesn't feel good, feel free to stay in simple pose. Make sure you're rooting down evenly on both sits bones, so not leaning to one side. Spine is straight, and think about lifting up out of your hips, Top of your head reaching up towards the ceiling, really lengthening here and getting taller in your seated posture. Shoulders are back and down. You can just rest your hands on your knees. Close your eyes if that feels good or you can gaze down in front of you. And just feel yourself sitting. Know that you're sitting. I know that sounds obvious, but a lot of times we'll start in a seated posture and be thinking about a hundred different things. Right now, just feel your sitting bones on the mat. Notice your feet. They're touching the mat. Notice how one foot might feel different from the other foot. Notice your tailbone and then each vertebrae stacking on top of it. All the way up your spine up to your neck. And then notice your breathing. Notice if you are breathing deep or if today you're breathing maybe a little shallow. No right answer, just noticing. Notice if you're making any sounds with your breath. And notice the sensation of your breathing on the outside of your nostril. That little part by your nostril right above your lip. Feel the breath right on that area. Very concentrated focus. Notice how it feels to breathe in. And how it feels to breathe out. You're in half lotus pose. If you have one foot up, release that one down and then switch sides, bringing the other foot up onto the opposite uh, thigh. And then just continue relaxing into your seated posture, but staying focused on your breath. And then slowly with your breath, just turn your head from side to side. Inhaling to one side and exhaling to the other side. Continue with that movement from left to right. Noticing if one side feels different from the other side. And notice after the first few, maybe you can go a little deeper in the stretch or maybe you want to pull back a little bit. Just noticing. And then pause in the center. Inhale, pull your um, shoulders up towards your ears, press them back behind you and lift your chin. Squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your chin high, and then as you exhale, roll your shoulders up and then forward and bring your chin to your chest, all the way down. Feel that nice stretch. Inhale, roll your shoulders up and back, lift your chin, chin towards the ceiling. And then exhale, roll the shoulders up and forward for a nice stretch through the upper back and the neck. A couple more times, moving with the breath, feeling that upper back open in the front. And then releasing in the back. 
One more time. And then bring your head back to center. If you're in half lotus, just release that foot. Come into uh, any comfortable, simple pose. Inhale and bring your arms up overhead. Shoulders back and down. Arms are long. And then as you exhale, twist to one side. So I'm twisting to the left. My right hand is on my left knee. My left hand is right behind my hip. And I'm just twisting gently, looking straight out to the left, pulling the belly in. Inhale, release. Bring the arms up overhead again. Reaching up high. Reach up out of your hips. And then exhale to the other side. Just looking over to the right this time. Not leaning back into that hand either. That hand is just there as a placekeeper. Let's go one more time on each side and this time go a little deeper. So inhale, bring the arms up, reaching high, but keep the shoulders down. And exhale, twist. This time bringing that left shoulder back towards the center of your mat and turn your head over that left shoulder for a, twi a full twist. And then inhale, release, bring your arms up overhead. Same thing, other side. Just twisting to the right, going a little deeper, as long as that feels okay. Pressing that right shoulder back, looking over that right shoulder. And then release, come back to center, bring those arms up one more time. Well, not one more time, we're gonna do it again. <laughs> and then lean forward. Hands on the mat, keep your spine straight, but walk your hands out in front of you. And then stay here, hips pushing down, hands reaching forward, head in line with your spine, and try to keep a flat back. So we don't wanna round through the back here, but we keep back and down. Pressing the heart in front of you. And breathe. Inhale, come up, bring your arms up overhead. This is the last one. <laughs> bring the arms up overhead, reach up high, reach up out of your hips, and then bring your hands behind your back. Lean back into your palms, roll your shoulders back and down, shine your heart up so you get a nice um, curve through your spine, release your head, shine your heart straight up, pull the belly in. And release your posture. Nice job. Just wiggle it out a little bit. Let's come into a uh, tabletop. And we'll move through some uh, nice cat and cows to reset the spine. Let's tuck our toes so that in cat and cow, while we're doing this, we're also getting a stretch through the soles of our feet. So inhale and drop the belly. Push your mat away from you. Lift your chin. Press your shoulders back. And then as you exhale, spine comes up, hips tilt forward a little bit, belly to the spine and chin to the chest. And then release back into cow pose. Really trying to shine the heart forward. That, that way you get a nice um, back, uh, back bend. And exhale for cat. A couple more. Last one, moving with your breath. And then finish up in a nice neutral tabletop position. Extend your left leg out behind you. You can balance on your toe. Inhale here while the spine is neutral, and then exhale, slide that left leg out to the left, look over your shoulder, take a peek of, uh, at that foot, and then come back to center on your next inhale. And then as you exhale, bring that left foot over to the right and look over your right shoulder and see if you can see that foot. So it's just a side to side sliding of that left leg looking over that shoulder so you open up the opposite side of your body and contract the side that you are looking over. This is a really nice way to get some movement in the hip socket, open the side body a couple more times. And move with the breath. 
So notice where you're feeling this movement, and then we'll check it out and compare it with the other side. Bring that leg back to center and bend that knee. Lift the knee so that the thigh is parallel with the floor. Holding here. And we're just going to pump that leg up. So keep that uh, head in line with the spine. Keep pushing the mat away from you. Point your toes. Little pulses here. A little squeezing of the glutes too every time we pump. A few more times. That was more than a few. <laughs> five more times. Keep me honest. Two, three, four, five. Release that leg down and then stretch that leg back as you release your hips over your heel. Reach your hands forward. Release your elbows down to the mat and forehead to the mat as well. We'll pause here for a few breaths. Then we'll come back up into our tabletop pose. Extend that right leg back. Same thing on the other side. So we're inhaling when the spine is neutral. Exhale, bring that right leg out to the right, sliding the toe across the floor, bringing, up, bringing it up as high as you can towards your hand. And then inhale, come back to center. And exhale, slide that right foot over to the left, look over your shoulder, take a peek, see how far you go. And then we'll just continue with that movement from side to side, nice and slowly, move with the breath, and notice how it feels on this side compared to how it was feeling with the left leg. So pick one part of this movement to focus on. Maybe it's the opening of the side body as you're stretching. Maybe it's the movement of the thigh bone in the hip socket. Maybe it's your breath. A couple more. Also notice what you're doing with your belly. Is your belly just hanging down towards the mat? Or are you keeping it engaged, pulling the navel to the spine? So much to think about. All right, bring that leg back to center. And then slide that right leg back as you sit on your left heel. Walk your hands forward. You can come down onto your um, elbows and drop your forehead to the chest. Just a couple of breaths here to reset the body. And come back to center. Nice job. Tuck your toes. And let's come up into down dog. We'll start by pedaling it out a little bit. And then bring your feet the width of your mat. And let's hold down dog with um, feet apart. So drop your head. Try not to lock your knees. Push your hands away from your feet as you push your head up and back. Let the head hang and breathe. Two more breaths. Just notice where in your body you're feeling this pose. A lot of people feel it in their hamstrings. If your wrists are getting tired, one more breath, and then we'll come out of it. All right, nice, everybody. Come down into embryo pose. So uh, knees on the mat, hips over the heels. Bring your arms along the sides of your body. Rotate through your wrists a couple times. Open and close your fists. Forehead to the mat and surrender here. Just let go. Let the whole weight of your body fall over your legs. Soften the muscles around your arms and your shoulders. Let your arms be heavy. Just fall into the pose. A couple more breaths. And slowly make your way out of the pose, coming into tabletop. We're going to come up to a standing position. So we'll transition through down dog. Always a good way 
Just to get one more stretch before we come all the way up. Walk your feet forward or hop forward. Pause in a forward bend here. Releasing all the way down. Bring your hands into your elbows, chin at your chest, weight is in your toes. Bend your knees if you have to, or if you want to, or keep them straight. Just don't lock them all the way back. And let your body float from side to side. Getting some movement in the muscles on the outside of the hips. Let the head be nice and heavy, no tension in the neck. And then pause in the middle, release your hands down, bend your knees, reverse swan dive, and come all the way up. And float your arms down. Nice job, everybody. Oh, I think my glasses are fogging up. All right, coming into um, mountain pose. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. Spread your toes, root down. Pull your kneecaps up, tighten your glutes. Pull your pelvic floor up, bellies in. Shoulders are back and down. Bring your hands to heart center. Shift your weight to your left leg as we prepare for a balancing posture. Bend your right knee. You can stay right here. We're balancing right now, so stay here if you like. If you'd like to move on, reach around with your right hand and grab onto the inside edge of your foot with your palm facing out towards the right. You can keep your hand on your chest to connect with your beating heart, or you can leave your left hand out to the side to balance. You can stay right here. Try to keep your knees in alignment with each other. Sometimes the knee comes out because the um, muscles are tight. Try to keep them in alignment. So you can stay right here, or if you want to go further, you can lift the left arm up and press your foot into your hand, reaching your knee up and back, coming over as far as you can. Everyone's gonna come to a different place in this, pole, in this pose. Just go as far as it feels good for you or you can hold your balance. If you fall out, no worries. That's what the ground is for. <laughs> One more breath and release your posture. Nice job. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, just to reset before we go to the other side. And exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, and all the way up. And hands to heart center. Once again, coming into a grounded posture, rooting down through your feet, spread your toes. Pull your kneecaps up, engaging all of the muscles in your body for a balancing posture. Shift your weight to your right side, grip the mat with your toes, and then bend your left knee. Maybe you want to stay right here. This is perfect. Or if you want to move further into the balance and into the pose, reach around with your left hand, grabbing onto the inside edge of your left foot. Adjust so that the knees are in alignment with each other. You can stay here. You can bring your arm out to the side. Yogi's choice on how you want to balance. Balancing postures are great for stress because you really need to focus on what you're doing. So a lot of times the things that are stressing us go out of our minds. Release the right arm forward and start pivoting over on your right hip, pressing that foot into your hand, lifting the knee. Think long here, reach forward. Fix your gaze on something in front of you. Breathe, hold, and release your posture. Inhale, bring your arms up overhead, and exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway, and exhale, fold. Reverse, dive all the way up, and hands to heart center. Inhale through your nose. Open mouth, nice long exhale. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Just feel the stillness in your body and just for the next minute, be present. 
Be so still that maybe you can feel your heart beating in your chest. At this moment, nothing to worry about, nothing to think about, but just feeling your body standing on your mat. Notice what that feels like. And notice too how often outside thoughts are interrupting your practice of stillness. Be aware of how able you are to be still in body and mind. One more breath. And soften your posture. All right, everybody, let's move on. So step your feet out. You can adjust this as we start moving into the posture. Bend your knees. Try to keep your knees over your ankles. So you may need to um, adjust your stance to make sure you have some good alignment there. And bring your hands to heart center. Feet are turned out a little bit. Knees are pressing back. The knees like to fall forward here. Press the knees back. Make sure you're rooting down on the four corners of each foot. And you can come down really deep into the pose, or you can go a little bit more gently. Yogi's choice. Listen to your body. Don't let anything hurt. Inhale. Bring your arms up overhead as you straighten your knees. Separate your arms. Bring your hands down to your thighs, and then as you bring your arms up, uh, bring, bend your knees and bring your hands back to heart center. Release your hand on the left side over your thigh. Reach your right arm over. Feel that nice stretch on the right side of your body. Turn your gaze up towards the ceiling and release your posture. Come all the way up, straighten your knees. Arms come up overhead. Release your hands down. Touch the thighs with the backs of your hands. Inhale, bring your arms back up. Bend your knees as your hands come to heart center. Release your right forearm to your thigh. Reach over with your left. Gaze up towards the ceiling. And release. We'll go through that a couple more times. Straighten your knees. Reach your arms up. And open. Squeeze those shoulder blades together when you're at this point of the movement. Bring your arms up overhead. And then come down to the other side. Reaching through the right side of your body. And come up, straighten your knees, bring your arms up overhead. And open, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Press those hands on your thighs, squeeze your glutes. And bring your arms up overhead. And reach to the other side. Nice. We're going to hold here, bring your hands to heart center, and we're just going to straighten the knees and come down. Seeing if you can go a little bit lower than where you were before, and if you can't, that's okay too. Be mindful of your knees. Don't let those joints hurt. Squeezing everything up as you come up. Relax the uh, pelvic floor as you're coming down. We'll bend those knees. A couple more. And then as we finish this last one, we're going to hold it. So come to a comfortable place to hold. Feel a little burning in those thighs. Burning is okay. Joint pain is not. So be mindful of that. And left, let's lift opposite heels. Just to work those feet. Our poor feet get so abused. It's nice to pay them a little bit of attention. And then pause and try lifting both heels up at the same time for balance. More of that balancing posture to help just alleviate some tension in the mind. One more here. Straighten your knees, bring your arms up overhead. And then we're going to fold forward. Turn your toes forward and grab onto your ankles. Releasing the neck, let the head hang down. Make sure the weight is on the four corners of both feet. Turn your head from side to side like you're shaking your head no. And then pause, shake your head yes a couple times. And then bring your hands to your mat. 
Bring your feet a little bit closer in. You'll need to adjust this as we get into the squat, but release your hips all the way down to the floor, as low as they go. So for some people, it's hard to get low. That's okay. You can grab a couple blocks or books or a stool or something and sit down on that. It makes the pose a little bit kinder. So wherever you are, just come into your squat or your seated position. Bring your hands to heart center. Elbows are pressing against your knees. Holding here. Make sure your spine is straight and you're lifting up out of your hips. A lot of times I see people like hunching down. We want to really open up, lifting up high, rooting down through um, the full foot on both sides so you're not pressing into your instep. One more breath. Nice, everybody. And release your posture. Hands back to the floor. Straighten your knees. Oh, my goodness. Toe heel your feet back to hip distance apart. Inhale, come halfway up. And exhale, fold. And dive and come all the way up. And float your arms down. Nice job. Just shake it out a little bit. <clears throat> Let's come towards the front of your mat for our warrior sequence. Really nice way to stretch through the whole body. So um, bring your left foot back behind you and bend your front knee coming into warrior one. So twist at the waist so that your shoulders are squared off with the front of your mat and bring your arms up overhead. Bend that front knee. Press your shoulders down your back. Inhale, and exhale, open up into warrior two. Looking up over your right hand, lift your torso up out of your hips. Nice tall posture here. Reaching out in opposite directions, spread those fingers. Inhale, reverse warrior, bringing that right arm up towards the ceiling and reaching back. Relax that left shoulder. And then exhale, dancing warrior, forearm on your thigh, left arm reaching all the way over. Try to stack the shoulders here. Let's try that a couple more times. Reverse warrior. And dancing warrior. One more time. Moving gracefully with your breath. And come back into your warrior two. Rainbow your arms all the way down. Step that right foot back and pedal it out. Pause here in down dog, but bring your feet out the width of your mat. So down dog with feet apart. Push those hips up and back. Push your mat away from you with your hands. And then let your hips just float from side to side for a nice stretch through the side body. Pausing in the middle, bring your feet back to hip distance apart. Bend your knees, hop forward or walk forward. Coming into your forward bend at your top of your mat. Inhale, come halfway up. And exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive and come all the way up and hands to heart center. Left foot back. Oh, sorry. Right foot back. <laughs> Coming into, I'm going to turn on the other side. So right foot back. So back foot is uh, twisted a little bit. Front knee is bent, twisting at the waist so that the shoulders again are squared off with the mat. That gives us a nice twist here. Try to keep the hips in alignment. So pull that right hip forward a little bit. Hands at heart center. And then bring those arms up overhead. Maybe going deeper into the pose if that feels good. Shoulders are pressing down your back. Fingers are spread. Nice and strong in this posture. Inhale. And exhale, open out to the right, looking over that left arm. Reaching out in opposite direction. Shoulders are back and down. Inhale, reverse warrior. 
reaching back behind you, stretching through the left side of your body, and exhale, Dancing Warrior, reaching forward. Moving through that a couple more times. Inhale. And exhale. Two more times. Moving with the breath. Noticing also if this side feels a little different from the other side. Coming back into your warrior two. Bring your arms up overhead for warrior one. And then bring your hands all the way back down to left foot back and pedal it out. Down dog. Pausing in down dog. We're gonna do a long hold down dog. So come into a version of down dog that's comfortable for you. You might need to place your hands up on a couple blocks or books or whatever you have. You can do this with legs apart. You can do this with knees bent too. We're gonna hold for eight breaths. So find a comfortable position for you in down dog. Relax your neck, let your head hang out of your Ne uh, your neck and find your breath. Inhale nice and long and exhale. Find your perfect rhythm for your breath to help you hold the pose. It'll be about a minute, maybe a little bit more or less, depending on how slowly you're breathing. Let the head be heavy. Push those hips up and back. Enjoy that nice stretch through the hamstrings. Maybe about halfway finished. Shoulders are pressing down your back, away from your ears. If you're finished and you need to come out of the pose, come into child's pose, but otherwise we have a couple more breaths. These longer hold poses really give us a chance to get deep into the muscle, to stretch it a little bit more effectively than the shorter stretches. One more long breath right here. And then come into child's pose, release your posture. You know, bring your arms along the sides of your body. That's gonna help to relax your shoulders a little bit more. Up. Longer exhale. One more breath. All right, and come out of your child's pose. Coming into our hip opener, grab your strap or your tie or your scarf or your belt, whatever you have, and come all the way down onto your mat. Both knees are bent to start. Grab whatever you have as a strap. Wrap it around your hand and then place your left foot under the strap as you straighten your knee. So if you wrap your strap around your hands, you don't have to hold it so tight. Take a deep breath in. Try not to lock that knee. But as you exhale, pull on your strap so that your leg comes closer to you. And hold. So you want to feel a nice stretch in your hamstring. If this feels good and you want to go a little deeper, straighten that right leg. Both ankles are flexed. As you inhale, notice what it feels like in your hamstring, around your thighs, anywhere else you feel the stretch. And as you exhale, if you want to go deeper, then just pull on your strap. So look at the position of your leg. This is not um, 
a position that we get into a lot in our daily life. So this is why this is a good um, yoga pose for us, because we're really getting some movement in that hip socket. Stay breathing, of course. And on your next breath, pass your strap over to your left hand. Place your right hand over your right hip bone, just as a reminder to try to keep that hip down on the mat as much as you can. And then let the left foot fall out to the left as much as it goes. So for some people, it's gonna come all the way to the floor. For some people, it's gonna be maybe at 40 degrees. For other people, it's gonna be somewhere else. It doesn't matter. Just go to wherever it feels good. Big stretch through the inner thigh and the groin. And try to relax the rest of the body. Easier said than done, I know. But when we're relaxed, we get a little bit more flexible. So see if that's true for you. Nice, long, deep breaths here. You might even start feeling that left leg just floating a little bit closer to the floor as you hold the pose a little bit longer, or maybe not. But just notice what's happening in the pose the longer you hold it. One more breath right here. And then bring that leg back to center. Pass the strap over to your right hand, and then let the left leg fall over to the right a little bit. It doesn't go very far because your body is in the way, but just notice that stretch through the glutes and down into the hamstrings. And same thing, just breathe and relax, noticing, trying to keep your focus and your thoughts on your practice. It's so easy, especially as we get towards the end of our practice, which we are, um, to start thinking about, oh, what do I have to do after this? Staying present is such an important skill not only in yoga, but off the mat as well. All right, bring that leg back to center. You can take your strap off your leg, pull both knees into your chest, rock from side to side. Pausing in the middle, straighten your legs, bring your arms up overhead to stretch long in opposite directions. And then return back to that starting position, knee, both knees bent, grab your strap or whatever you're using. We'll do the same thing on the other side. So right leg under the strap, extending that leg up, knee is straight. Wrap your strap around your hands, deep breath in, pull on your strap and go right to the point where you feel that stretch in your hamstring. Nice deep breaths here. If you feel like you want to stretch deeper, then pull on your strap on your exhale. So we exhale on the exertion, on the stretch. Also for a deeper stretch, you can straighten that left leg. Both ankles are flexed, heels are pushing away from you. And then try to relax the muscles that you're not using like around your eyes and your jaw, your neck. Try to relax your shoulders. Couple more breaths. In this pose, you can relax your belly. So no need to keep your um, belly muscles engaged. Although you can, always good to do that, but no need. And then pass the strap over to your right hand, left hand on your hip just to try to keep that hip down a little bit and let that right leg fall out to the right. As far as it goes, as far as it wants to go, don't force it, don't be afraid, just let it go. Breathe. If it feels better to have a little bend in your knee, go ahead and do that. And notice if this side feels as flexible or as tight as the other side. No judgment, we're just noticing how every pose affects our body. 
I love this sequence. I, my, I feel so energized when I finish it. So I hope you do too. We're almost finished. And now bring that leg back to center. Transfer the strap over to your left hand and release to the left. You can just relax your right arm. I feel like this part of the sequence is the most intense, probably because this is not common at all in our daily life, unless you're a dancer or maybe, I don't know, maybe a soccer player. I know some of you play soccer. Um, so maybe you're not feeling this as much as I am, but um, feel that stretch in the glutes and the hamstrings. Maybe you're feeling it somewhere else. Just notice that. Just one or two more breaths here. Coming towards the end of our practice. And then straighten, bring the leg back to center, release your strap, pull both knees into your chest, rock from side to side. And then pause in the middle, stretch your arms and legs out into um, like a starfish or the letter X reaching out in the four corners of the room. And then as you exhale, bring your knees together, lift your head, neck, and shoulders, wrap your arms around your shins, bring your chin to your chest, forehead maybe to your knees, squeeze into a tiny ball, and rock from side to side. There's a muscle right in there, it feels so good. And then release, coming into that starfish pose again, reaching in four corners, spreading the fingers, pointing the toes, and then one more time, curl up into a little tiny ball and rock from side to side. And then pausing in the middle, release your posture Setting up for Shavasana. Today I thought it would be nice to do Shavasana in butterfly pose. So if you would like, you can bring the soles of your feet together. When I'm doing butterfly pose in Shavasana, I do like to bring my hands under my hips because it releases the pressure of the lower back a little bit more. If this is not your pose today and this is not relaxing for you, then by all means, straighten your legs and come into a more traditional Shavasana or whatever way is better for you. So you set it up in a way that you can relax and let go. I'm gonna do butterfly, but maybe you'll do something else. Also, if you wanna do butterfly and it's a little bit too intense, you can place some pillows or books or something under your thighs and that softens the pose a little bit. Let's start with two cleansing breaths. Inhale, deep through your nose, down into your belly, and open mouth, exhale. And nice and strong and loud. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Soften your jaw, close your eyes. We'll be here for just about a minute or two. Taking this time to just reset and notice what it's like to be still with nothing to do and nothing to think about. All you need to do is breathe. Noticing the rhythm of your breath. Breath going in. And breath going out. Few more breaths. And 
And then however you are holding your Shavasana posture, just release and bring your arms up overhead, stretch in opposite directions, move your fingers and toes and your wrists and your ankles. And then roll over onto one side and push yourself up into a seated position. Trying to stay present in your practice, even at this very end, just about a minute left. Nice and tall on your mat. We started in a seated position, so see if you can, um, how it feels now compared to when we started our practice. Maybe you feel a little bit more flexible, maybe not, it's okay. Just notice. A couple of nice deep breaths in. Breathing in and out through the nose. And bring your hands to heart center. The light in me salutes the light in you. Namaste. All right, everybody, another class down. You did it. Thanks so much for showing up today. Thanks for watching these YouTube videos. Good for you. Um, hope you're staying healthy and happy. Don't forget to breathe. Wash your hands. Wear your mask. And I hope to see you again in another class. Be well, everyone.